Everybody, it's Drew Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we have another gameplay for you guys. A brand new 95 overall came out. Actually, a 95k overall came out for both offense and defense for every single card that is in the playoffs or every team that's in the playoffs. Today we're gonna be doing the gameplay on the brand new 95 Alex Smith. He got the offensive side of obviously the Washington football team who barely snuck in the playoffs out of the NFC East. Everybody knows about that team. That I mean that division. But anyways, let's head into the card and let's see if he's actually really good. I'm look at the card. Alex Smith actually has an 87 speed, 99 throw power. Everything is pretty solid. 93 deep accuracy. I, obviously, I wish it could be higher. As a field general, you'd like to see that higher, especially at a 95 overall. Actually, at 97 on our team. But it's all right. It's not terrible. Not a bad card at all. But we do have Gunslinger on him. As a hot route master quarterback, you do get to choose between gunslinger and hot route master, but you cannot have both because you cannot get in the second slot. Sadly, if he could get in the second slot, he needed one more overall. So once he gets a power up, or if he gets a power up, he would be an actual very, very fire card because he'd be able to get obviously gunslinger and hot route master in the second slot. But anyways, not a bad card at all. We do have gunslinger. I really want to test how it works. So we did throw on tight end apprentice and running uh, backfield mismatch so we can get those effects of Howard Master. But anyways, let's head into a game and let's see if we can get this guy going. It looks like we're going to be getting the ball first inside of this game. It is a nighttime game. I don't know if he's in his playoffs or anything, but let's see if we can get it going. I am not in my playbook. A lot of people have been asking to not be in my playbook to see if I can... Get the quarterback going regardless of what I run because a lot of things I run do. Obviously, you put any quarterback in my system and do pretty good. But as you can see, we have, I don't know, we're, this could be really good. I haven't really get to see in his release yet. Obviously, we got pressured right there. I got to draw up something here. It's going to be difficult. Like I said, I don't run out of split close or anything. I'm in the Pats playbook instead, which I know is pretty popular, but I don't run it myself like at all. I am a big Panthers user, so it is going to be a tough game. But if we can get it going, it would look very, very fire with just a random playbook. We are running just completely random plays. As we're going to have a wide open Edgar and James here. That was not a bad release at all. It was actually very, very solid. Like I said, if you're in a Washington football team, theme team, this card could be easily, easily very good for you. I don't know. Like I said, like it's very quick, so I guess that's really good. But we're going to angle our um, our Kamara down here. We just want to keep feeding our players on the dump downs. Play, play kind of like Alex Smith does in real life. A little bit of a dump down-ish kind of style. But he is very good. Everybody knows he is a very, very good player right now. He is a... Uh, like, I don't know. He's snapping back into his old self. But let's see. Let's see. We keep the hot streak going. We are moving the ball right now. We aren't... We haven't made any big plays. Like I said, I don't really know any big plays out of this playbook. There are a lot, a lot of huge plays you can run out of the Patriots playbook because I know it's a really, really good one. But like I said, I am still new to it. So I am still trying to figure out all the big plays. I like switching playbooks because it does add a little bit of fun to the game. But let's see if we can get anything going. We, we are going to run a couple of these crosser routes. This does uh, switch out a lot of people going in and out. This is like hardest playbook to use it for a lot of people because there's a lot of moving routes. But as you see, we hit a corner there to Taysom Hill. We are hitting everything. As you can see, the release right there. That is actually very, very quick. I, I was looking at his release yesterday before when I was getting the screenshot of the player for the thumbnail. And I did not like it at all. I thought it was going to be very bad. But as you guys can see, as he goes right by two blockers, we had two blockers just waiting. And somehow they both completely miss him. Both running backs to miss the wide open block on Eric Hendricks. As you can see, Kamara and Edgar and James just let him split their defense or split their blocking. That is probably the worst thing that could have happened there. But let's see if we can attack the seams here. I don't know what he's really running here. But if we can attack the seams, this could be a huge play. I don't think it's going to be there. Yeah, it's not there. We're going to have RB, though, on the last second dump off. Not bad at all. And he fumbles the ball, actually. 
Edgar and James, I have no clue why he's in the game, but he fumbles. That is not good at all, especially after great drive by Alex Smith. Let's head into the second possession of offense, and let's see if we can still keep playing good on offense. Atwater did get an interception there on an RPO. For some reason, he threw it, and it was like triple covered. But let's see if we keep moving the ball to splits close. Like I said, I am not running any really crazy audibles or any beaters because I truly don't know any yet. So basically, I'm just running the playbook right now, seeing if I can get it going. This is how a lot of people would be using the quarterback. So if I can get it going like this, maybe he's very usable. I, I, I kind of want to keep the ball to Edgar and James's hands after that last possession. That was a very, very saddening, only from the fact because we were moving the ball, and it was actually very fun how we were moving the ball. Like, it's it's fun, like, playing different out of your play style because it feels like you're trying a lot harder. But we're going to have Kamara wide open underneath. That Kamara, he is something else. One of my favorite cards in the game. Easily, easily a top running back. Like I did a running back, top 10 running backs last year. I mean, last, yesterday, I can't even talk. And he was the number one running back on that list. But let's see if we can get anything going here. We're going to run the same exact play. But we did drag uh, Calvin Ridley here. Maybe that helps a little bit. As he baits it perfectly. I thought I had enough time. It looks like Alex Smith is going to be able to chase this guy down, though, because it is a linebacker. But, oh, as we miss the chase down and he gets the pick six, that is not good at all. Let's head into the next possession of offense, and let's see if we can finally score. We are back in offense. Let's see if I can stop choking now and hopefully get a big play here. We are going to be running a quick corner here. It's going to be wide open from Taysom Hill. A big play is turning here. Not bad at all. That is a great play to bounce back from. Now we just need to keep on going. Like I said, this is... It's been... That was not a good drive at all. We are now in gun trips tight end. I know this is one of the best uh, formations in the game, but like I said, I don't know anything out of it because I do not run it at all. But let's see if we can... I think we could corner here. Yeah, we could run a corner here. We can run something like this. It's not look like a bad play at all. He is going to be flat in, flatting over there now. We're going to just run with him right now. And we get a couple yards right there. Three yards of Alex Smith. Not bad at all. Like, we just got to keep moving the ball. It's going to be a difficult game. Like I said, I already knew this is going to be a difficult game right when I threw on a different playbook. But it's better than me just blowing someone out only because I have a good playbook and I know what I'm doing. But let's see if we can get it going. You never know. You, never, you truly never know with these cards. Let's see. We have this dump down to Kamara again. Wide open, and we're going to get a couple yards. We are in field goal range now. Obviously, that's not what we want. This guy is playing his life away right now. He is inside of his playoffs. It's understandable. Everybody does the same thing. I think he's in his AFC championship. So, yeah, this guy is grinding everything, he, every little last bit he has left. But let's see. This is like one of those plays that you can run by themselves. I really do like it. As we throw a low pass there, that was not the best pass ever, but the low pass really did save us. I don't know. I got This guy is playing really weird over the middle. His linebackers are playing really good because he has mid zone elite. And it seems like they're activating for some reason when he's even using them. But let's see. Let's see. We're going to have Kamara dump down wide open here. Another first down. Time is taken. This is looking very, very good for us. But he does get bowl at half, so this is kind of a must score right here. So if we don't score, this is not, not going to look good at all. So let's see if we can finally punch it in. I'm trying to see what we can get open here. As we, I don't really see anything. We're going to have a wide open Taysom Hill to the right side of the ball. And, of course, Madden wants to cheat us. Wide open Taysom Hill. And they don't give it to us. That was a great throw, great everything. We just get the bad animation. That animation is either – like, it works every time or it's just broken. That truly does suck because that was wide as hell open. Oh, as we're going to have it open again, though, at least – Finally catches the ball and bounce. That was just, oh, I was, my heart was beating there. I, we had to score that possession. But anyways, let's take our extra point here and let's head into the next possession. He did get another interception. I don't think he's going to quit here because it is 7-7. He does get ball. But we get a first user pick literally on the next play. Let's run this X drag play. As you can see, we kind of baited that. We cut right back with Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons is just way too glitchy. He is way too fast. I don't know. He's just, he's insane. Let's see if we can get anything going. It looks like we might have Taysom Hill wide open again on this play. And it just bonks him in the head. I have no clue what is literally going on right now. Taysom Hill, that is one of the highest overall Titans in the game. And he's just getting bonked in the head, dropping wide open passes. 
my team is cheating me right now. Actually, Alex Smith is looking very good right now, so this is nothing I can complain about. We're going to call a timeout here. This is probably not the best situation to call a timeout. But we basically had a wide open touchdown again. This is actually a really good play to run against a cover three, just stock. Like, I'm having a great time running this play right now. As we're going to get sacked right here and we fumble, we're going to let it run. He's going to call a timeout. Let's take our field goal. That was, it just sucks because we know we had it wide open. I did rack it, but we had enough room. I know we had enough room. Even if we possessed, it seemed like Taysom Hill did not want to catch that ball at all. But we're going to take a three-point lead. Let's head into the next possession. Probably going to be next half. We do get another interception there with Isaiah Simmons. He is just so good in the middle. I don't even know why people throw to him when he's in the middle or even close. He genuinely is faster than a lot of wide receivers, and he's just so much bigger. And he's like, he just feels just insane compared to every other user in the game. But it looks like he's hard flatting. I really can't tell because Kamara's not pulling anything there. So that kind of sucks, but let's see if we can pull anything. I don't know. I don't know because, like, this, this RB is, like, literally doing nothing, basically just wasting space right now. So let's see if we can maybe do this, and maybe we can get Taysom Hill wide open. I don't know. As that pulls, it finally pulls it, but it is a bad throw because we did get pressure. So the RB is pulling it when we do do that stopper. I don't. He's not really running anything to stop me, but the pressure is getting to me. Finally, like, we did have it, but the pressure got to us pretty fastly there. But let's see if we have anything. Maybe this crosser. We're going to have this corner wide open underneath. I say wide open. It looks a lot closer than it is, but I knew the whole time it was getting through. That's just how it is in Madden. Basically, we have Taysom Hill on a hot. I mean, I don't even know what X-Factor I have on him. I don't think I've ever activated that. I have no clue. When aggressive catches versus single coverage. I have never seen Taysom Hill get that. That is actually insane. As we're going to have him open again. But the pressure, I'm telling you guys, he has. this guy has everybody on his D-line. Literally everybody on his D-line coming after me. And we do lose the ability. That actually does suck. Let's see if we could run the ball a little bit here with Kamara. We have not ran the ball at all once. I like I said, I don't like you guys know how I am. I don't like running the ball at all. This guy's been running the ball like I think he's ran like nine times already on us. But let's see if we can keep it going. You never know, like you truly, truly never know. Like, I just want a big play here again. The Taysom Hill corner is probably not gonna be here. But let's see, let's see. I'm gonna run some crazy stuff. I don't think this works because there's a lot over the middle. But let's see, let's see. Um it that looks like nothing's gonna be open. We're gonna get sacked. That is not good at all. I, like I said, it is hard right now because I'm not running my playbook. I'm just running random stuff. This is what a lot of people do with their quarterback. So this is exactly why I'm doing it. I'm trying to show you guys that this quarterback is good no matter where you play him. Imagine him in my system. I would probably be – the game would probably be over already, and this guy would have probably already quit. But we did fumble earlier in the game, to be fair. This game should have been 17-7. to But anyways, let's head into the next possession and see if we could finally score again. It looks like he's going to punt the ball here. I guess this is kind of smart because I've been struggling a little bit to score on offense. We are moving the ball. We just can't score right now. So let's see if we get good field position with this punt. Maybe take it in a lot farther than we'd like as we get nothing there. I don't know. I feel like punter turns are more of luck because sometimes you'll have the most room in the world to run there. But then again, there's times like that where there's literally nothing you could possibly do. There's literally nothing I could have done there at all. But let's see if we can maybe attack in a wide open empty look maybe because attack the seams I don't know like I said this has been a really weird game because I am not using my playbook so a lot of it has been struggles but like again nothing was open the seams weren't even open I looked for both of them oh this is just not looking good at all we just need to get a couple first downs to win, win this game I feel like a game manager right now but it sucks not being your playbook trust me it really does especially when you know that like you you want to get the good game plays on this guy but you just simply can't oh like we're gonna miss again right here nothing is looking good i mean i don't know maybe i should have played in my playbook but like i like i said this is this is a lot more like a lot of people actually play like this so this is actually good for us because it will show you others like how truly good this card actually is so that is why i wanted to do that but let's see if we could do something like this this might help a little bit. I don't know. I just need to pull his user away. Maybe we can hit Taysom Hill on something. As we're going to have RB wide open for the first down, we pulled the user away with the corner and had the dumb down with RB. That was a great one right there. So maybe we got to play a little bit of chew clock here so we could possibly win this game. This has been a very close game. We're going to let this run down because we could actually take this half with a completion. So maybe, or the two-minute warning. This guy is actually not terrible. 
I don't know. He just makes a couple mistakes. We're going to have a dump down right there. That was actually, I have no clue what that was from Alex Smith. That was the easiest, easiest five plus yards ever, ever right there. And he completely misses it. That actually really does suck. Let's see if we can hit anything else now. Maybe we hit this RB. We're going to have an X drag run right underneath. I can't even talk. There we go. This is going to probably take it to the two-minute warning. Not a bad drive at all. I'm hoping – I was wishing Alex Smith did an overthrow right there on that um, on that wheel route like two plays ago. If he would have overthrown that even more, that would have been a wide-open touchdown for the other guys, and that would have been really bad, and it would have made Alex Smith look bad. But I actually have no clue why that was such a bad throw because I have actually never seen that. As we're going to have Taysom Hill wide open. I see it too late. He was as wide open as it gets. That actually really does hurt. I'm going to block, actually, Edgar and James right here. Maybe we can buy enough time. I have no clue. We're going to have the drag wide open again. Easy, easy yardage. An actual touchdown from Alex Smith. Randy Moss finds his way in. We're going to be taking the 17-7 lead. Under two minutes left. We still have three timeouts. This is probably looking like a dub. Anyways, let's see if he quits or not. Let's see if we get the ball back. Let's head right into it. We did get an interception there to end his drive. It looks like he probably will quit here. There is no way he wins that. But that was not a bad gameplay at all. Very solid card. 255 yards for not playing in my playbook. Two touchdowns. Not a bad game at all. Like I said, if we were playing our playbook, we would have been so much. We would have done so much better. But this shows you that this guy is actually a very, very solid card. But like I said, make sure you guys use Gunslinger on him instead of Howrow Master and just move all the abilities on over to your tight end and running back so you could use tight end apprentice and I think it's backfield mismatch or whatever, running back apprentice, whatever it is. Make sure you do that because the gunslinger actually makes him very usable. I don't like his normal release. I tried it out yesterday. Not that good at all. Make sure you're doing the gunslinger. This is actually a very solid card. I think a lot of people should use him. The Washington football team is a very popular playbook. You'll see a lot of these Alex Smiths because he is very solid, honestly. I don't know what to say. Very, very good gameplay. We also fumbled on the first drive. It could have been a high-scoring game, but the fumble did kill us as well. Not a bad gameplay at all either. Very close to. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. We might do another gameplay. Maybe a DK Metcalf. Maybe a Phillip Rivers or another one of the quarterbacks. But anyways, I'll see you boys. Make sure to drop a like. Peace out, boys.